Uh, my name is Casey Young. I'm from Lewiston, Colorado. I'm a sophomore. The assistant Flip is really good friends with my um, club coach and my club coach talked to Flip about me and then coach came and watched and then I started looking in here and came on a visit and I loved it so I'm here. You know, she wanted to go somewhere where she could make an impact right away, and uh, we happened to need a setter. Kind of planned on her being a backup for a year. It didn't work out that way. She got on the court really quickly and shared setting duties at first, and then kind of took over the role of quarterback about midseason. So she started for us as a freshman and, you know, kept that run going on for um, four years. Casey was kind of the person who was a little bit more laid back, a little bit more comfortable, a little, a little bit more willing to let things happen rather than direct, be in charge all the time. And that's exactly what this team needed. It doesn't mean that she was any less competitive, but in her own way, her personality of driven competitiveness led by example. Well, she wasn't a rah-rah type person. She didn't scream and yell a lot. and. She just really went out there and got the job done and allowed her teammates to realize that she was going to be where she was supposed to be, when she was supposed to be there, and she was going to be there 100% every day. In order to be a great setter, you have to put a hitable ball up in the air all the time, and that was what Casey was able to do. She would get, you know, she would better the pass, although, as I said earlier, she had some pretty good passes, pretty good defensive players getting the ball to her. But when she didn't, she would better the pass and make give every hitter the opportunity to put the ball away. She also was, you know, a hard worker and um, came to practice every day with the idea that she was going to get better, and th and she did that throughout her career. Casey is the career leader for assists on this team. The hitters that she was able to set, there's definitely going to be times where Casey was going to be able to have the statistics to qualify her to be the national setter of the week, which is really, really cool. Um, there's not been very many volleyball players here that do that, so um, it's a tr significant honor. You know, that's, you know, a, a one-week outstanding award that goes to anyone in the country, and I don't think we've gotten it a whole lot. So that just tells you how well-deserved it was for Casey to get that award. I think there's a couple of factors that, that led to her tremendous success. Um, one of the factors was kind of out of her control. Um, in 2001, the year right before she got here, uh, the NCAA, we went to rally scoring. Casey had the advantage of playing all four years of her career in that 30-point scoring format. I don't think anybody's ever going to get as many assists as Casey. The second thing I think that really helped Casey in her career was the quality of, of hitters that she had. Um, she was able to set players like Carrie Pottis and Trudy Carter, Elise Momi, um, Amber Yoder. She had tremendous variety of, of really good hitters to set. I really felt like, though, the combination of Casey and Becky Howe, the coordination between those two players, um, the, their ability to have a feel for what each other was doing and going to do next. There would be times we'd be sitting on the bench going, I wonder why Becky's, oh, because Casey's going to set her there. And so there was lots of times in terms of the, the coordination between those two players that it was almost unspoken and it was like a nonverbal physical communication that they just knew where each other was going to be on the court. You know, when I think of Casey, I think of consistency. I don't ever remember her having a bad match. I just remember her being consistently there every match, every time out, putting the ball where it needed to go. And you know, in, in the game of volleyball, that is what you truly, truly need from your setter. And she was one of the most consistent ones we've ever had. Casey Young, terrific career that you had here. Four years of going to the national tournament, tremendous career, still the career leader in assists. Um, what I thank you for more and congratulate you more for is not really your individual awards because those are going to be significant no matter what, but your role in the development of setters at Central Missouri. They owe everything that they've had in terms of what they're doing as a setter, in terms of how they run the team, in terms of their commitment level to the team, to what you did between 2002 to 2005. You're an awesome Jenny's volleyball player. Congratulations on being accepted into the Hall of Fame. You're very, very deserving of this award. Well, Case, I think it's a well-deserved honor for you. I'm so proud of you and, um, you know, hope you realize what a great honor this is to be entering the UCM Hall of Fame. Congratulations, buddy.